welcome to another SOLIDWORKS NCCS tutorial. My name is Emmanuel and today we'll be going through how to use Excel spreadsheet in SOLIDWORKS. First thing we're going to do is open up an empty part. And for today's example we'll just keep it simple and use a circle centered inside a rectangle. Oops, create the sketch. I'll fast forward this video until I've actually finished the sketch. Cool. Now that we've dimensioned our sketch, we'll want to label these dimensions. The reason being that in Excel, the way we edit and create new variations of the sketch is by editing these imported dimensions. Because of this, labels such as D2 and D3 will become confusing in the long run and it's a pain to switch between the spreadsheet and the sketch. So to avoid confusion, we'll want to label them something short and precise. We'll want to label them something not so short that we won't for that we'll forget what it is, but not so long that it'll take us ages to do it. After all, we're doing this to save time. So for this one, we'll say R underscore W rectangle underscore width. I'll fast forward again until I finish this to save a bit of time. Great. Now that we've labeled our dimensions, we'll want to export this into Excel. So first thing we have to do is exit our sketch, go to insert, tables, and design table. You'll note the little X for Excel. Yep, we want to select auto create. We can pre-create our Excel file and use from file, but that involves determining the original dimensions of our sketch and is generally used for Excel spreadsheets that you've already created by auto create. So for the example, we're just going to use auto create. OK. Now, the reason this hasn't got any dimensions in it at the moment is because I actually haven't selected them yet. It's a bit confusing, but you do have to go back to SOLIDWORKS page to do this. Select them all and click OK. Cool. Excellent. We'll see here that they're labeled in a way that I can actually know what they are and this says default. The reason this is default is you'll notice here that under configurations default is the first one. This means that for every additional variation I make it'll appear under an extra configuration. It won't appear on the same sketch so let's say E2 and we'll just create one that's double. So equals 2 times this. Save, exit, here. The configuration E2 has been created. Go here, and it's twice as big. 2,600, 1,000, and so on. It's worth noting that depending on how you input your dimensions in the spreadsheet, some values will be able, you'll be able to edit, some you won't. So for this variation, exa for example, if you remember, I used a formula to generate them, so equals two times what was in default. For this reason, they are generated by a formula. And for that reason, I can't actually edit them on here. If I wanted to edit these dimensions, I'd have to exit sketch, go to edit, design table, and edit table. From here, this will open up the spreadsheet, and I'll have to edit the spreadsheet values here. Of course, from here, I can make as many configurations as I want with whatever values that I as well want. All right, and that's pretty much how you use an Excel spreadsheet in SOLIDWORKS. Hope this helps, and if you have any questions or problems that you want to see made into a SOLIDWORKS video, please feel free to shoot me an email or give me a call at NCCS. Hope you have a great day.